G'day Cloud Gurus, I'm Wayne Hoggett and welcome to another episode of Azure This Week. So here we are in the pre-Ignite Azure News Drought. So I thought I would do something a little different for Azure This Week this time around and use this time to bring your attention to a concept that is important for every single Azure deployment. Let's take a moment to take a look at the tools you can use to deploy the ever important Azure Landing Zones. Have you ever heard the best things in life are free? It's true. And one of those free things right up until the end of this year is free certification prep. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, you can get access to free certification courses on iCloud Guru or Pluralsight skills taught by industry experts. You get weekly study guides with learning programs and resources all to help to prepare you to get certified. One of those courses is the AZ900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals course. But there's also courses for AWS, Google Cloud, Terraform, or Kubernetes certifications that will work well alongside your cloud certifications. I'll drop a link in the description. Does that make you happy? Well, it makes me happy just telling you about it. If the term landing zone is new to you, to put it simply, it's Microsoft's recommended approach to set up your Azure environment including management groups and subscriptions for scale, security, governance, networking, and identity. Oh, I nearly ran out of fingers. These are the foundations for any environment you will use to host your workloads on Azure. Microsoft has been putting heaps of work into landing zones and the tools you can use to deploy your landing zones, including an excellent portal experience, Terraform support, and BICEP support. If you haven't heard of BICEP before, it's the new and improved language you can use to write ARM templates. My favorite of the landing zone tools is ALZ BICEP because it's well documented and it uses my favorite language to stamp out your landing zones in BICEP. Today I have Jack Tracy from Microsoft to talk to us a bit about ALZ BICEP. So let's go catch up with Jack and learn some more about deploying landing zones using Azure BICEP. Hi Jack, great to have you on Azure this week and I'm super excited to have the opportunity to talk to you about two of my favorite things, BICEP and Azure Landing Zones. So why don't we start with a brief intro of what your role is at Microsoft. Yeah, well firstly Wayne, thanks for having me, Like, uh, it's, it's great to be here. Um, I, and my role at Microsoft is I'm a cloud, cloud solutions architect, right? So I help customers on a daily basis, but I sit in this weird position or a nice position where I'm not directly attached to customers on a daily basis. I actually have the pleasure of sitting a little bit away from the field and creating solution engineering projects like Azure Landing Zones and BICEP. So I get to create these things that the whole field and the whole community can get on board and use based on what I see with my limited customer engagements when I do engage with some of our larger, larger customers. Oh, that's cool. All right. So let's get started with the basics. What is ALZ BICEP and why was it created? It's a great question, right? And uh, it's one that mainly is a nice answer, right? It was based on community feedback. We released the Azure Landing Zones portal experience uh, initially when it back in the days we called it uh, Enterprise Scale. And yes, if you're wondering what Enterprise Scale or Azure Landing Zones and if they're different, they're not. It's just on a rebranding journey. So if you see Enterprise Scale or Azure Landing Zones, they're the same thing. Uh, Azure Landing Zones is its new name. Um, but people asked for it in Bicep, right? Bicep came out yeah, a couple of years ago now, right? In 0 0.3 and people were like, why aren't you creating, you know, you've got an ARM template version. Why aren't you creating a Bicep version? And we're like, it's a really good point. Let's, let's invest and let's get creating it. So it was based on community ask and basically leading with the Azure native option going forward. Yeah, awesome. So what does um, what does Azure Landing Zones BICEP do differently to the tools that came before it? You know, I know some people have tried to use blueprints to do landing zones in the past. So yeah, how is Azure Landing Zones BICEP different to that? Yeah, no, it's a, it's a really good question, especially around the blueprints angle. And I think from an Azure Landing Zone perspective, we never went down the route of blueprints, right? Blueprints were very much contained to a single subscription. Um, you can obviously store definitions uh, at a management group scope, but then applying the management group became difficult and complex to manage. And there's obviously a roadmap for blueprints to become GA because they're still preview, right? They are still um, not GA. So they're moving into sort of template specs and deployment stacks, which the product team have talked about a few times publicly now. So we're like, we're not going to go down that road. We're going to go native infrastructure as code. So we're going to go ARM templates, 
Terraform, um, and Bicep. Now it now it's come along, and that's where we we invested. And then in terms of the Azure landing zone options that we have across, you know, the ARM version, the Terraform version, the Bicep version. There is no difference between them. You know, there are more flexibility in the Bicep and Terraform versions because they're infrastructure as code tools. The ARM experience is very much written to tailor to a portal experience where, you know, there's radio buttons, there's text fields, there's stuff like that. There's limited inputs. We're meant to get you there as fast and as easy as possible. But if you want to like customize your naming schemes and do all that stuff, then we suggest you go and use ALZ Bicep and Terraform where you can customize everything through inputs, parameters, variables, you know, you name it, you can do it. But there is no difference between any of those implementation options, right? They all spit out exactly the same architecture um, based on the inputs you provide. So you get the same management group hierarchy, you get the same policies, you get all of that good stuff from Azure landing zones. We worry about keeping them consistent in my team. Yeah, okay, cool. And I, I, I just love Bicep. So this just sounds like the most awesome tool for me, but what in your mind makes you know, Azure landing zones, the Bicep implementation so awesome? I think again, you know, going back to that question about we, Heard, listen to our customers, right? We had a great deal of feedback that our portal experience was great, but it wasn't modular enough, right? You either got all of it or none of it. There was no in between. Um, some customers just want to take the management group structure. Some customers just want the policies, you know, and who are we to say that you have to do all of these things in one go? You know, you may need to move at a different pace than other organizations or different paces to what we expect. So there was a real drive to go towards a, a modular fashion. So there is a module in Bicep for management groups. There is a module for policy definitions. There is a module for policy assignments. So no matter where you are on the journey, or you know, you may already be in that brownfield scenario where you've got a landing zone, but you go, do you know what? I really want the policies from Azure landing zones because they will address some needs for our business. But I, I can't tailor my management group hierarchy, right? That's a different scheme of work that we'll look to do in the future and align to the cloud adoption framework where Azure landing zone lives. But actually, if I take those policies now, I get some instant value. So how do I get those? And cool, just go and take the custom policy definitions module and say what management group you want us to dump all these policies on and, and we'll go do that, right? And there's no, well, you have to have this module first and you have to have this module afterwards. It's, I just go take the policy. I, I really don't care. Like, I want you to take the bits that add value to you. So this all sounds great. I'm loving what I'm hearing. How can people get started? Yeah, so really easy to get started, right? So we have a load of links that are down below, so go check them out. Um, but very quickly, you know, head to aka.ms slash ALZ slash bicep, and that'll take you to the repository. And on the repository now, we've got a load of links to the Azure Architecture Center article that we've created about Bicep and how it's been constructed and you know the different modules and how they relate to each other in different parts of the architecture. And then we've done a load of Azure enablement show videos as well with uh, Thomas Maurer to help people get started. So we've walked through in three parts, you know, how to start all the way through to the finish of getting your landing zone deployed and starting deploying services into it. So go and check those out, which are all from that link that we just shared and is down below. Awesome. All right, so, well, yeah, thanks for being with us today. I've already deployed my first Azure landing zone with ALZ Bicep, and I encourage everyone to go and check it out. Um, and even if, um, like you said, even if you have existing resources in Azure, it's never too late to get started with landing zones. Microsoft has some excellent guidance for how you can implement landing zones in your existing environment and how you can migrate your Azure resources to your landing zones. So check out the links below for more details. And Jack, any final comments before we close this off? I think you've, you've hit the nail on the head, right? It doesn't matter where you are on your journey, like landing zones are something that are constantly evolve and you'll need to align to. We had an internal code name for the project called North Star, right? And it's still got that trait, right? You always need to uh, migrate towards the North Star. So keep that in mind. Uh, and last thing from me is if you find anything, you have any feature requests, you have any questions, hit up the issues on the, on the GitHub repositories and we will get in touch because we really want to hear from the community. All right. It was great to have Jack on the show to talk about ALZ Bicep. That's a wrap for Azure this week. Thanks for watching. What do you think about landing zones? What about Bicep? Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you all virtually at Microsoft Ignite. Till next time, Cloud Gurus. Keep being awesome.